So this is the world famous voter van, Lehigh University election 2008. This is our driver, Sean. Can you see him? Yes, there he is. This is Linda. She's one of our passengers. So Sean, tell us, how is uh, the election going for you today? Um, the election is going better than I thought it was. Um, I thought there was going to be like, a bunch of protesters and uh, oh, yeah? Obama and it's going to get the hell out of me. Um, I also thought it was going like, to rain or cold or something like that. Okay. Um, just I turn, turn, down the, turn down the radio. But I am still happy that it didn't rain as much right. as I thought it was going to. Okay. Um, this is I also thought I was going to be really cold and tired. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, was it? No. I, well, well, at least I was going to thought I was going to be tired because I haven't slept in about a uh, day and a half. Like you're going straight out 36 hours? Yeah. That's crazy. So, the key is, if you ever need to stay up for that long, is a lot of water and a lot of cigarettes. Water and cigarettes. Yes. Who right. needs cigarettes? Huh? Who's cigarettes? Um, it really doesn't matter. Like, menthols probably work better um, than regular cigarettes because menthol kind of keeps you up and awake. That's organic chemistry right there. I said boo cigarettes. Cigarettes are bad for you. Yes, they are. I'll quit before I'm 30 something and then I'll be fine, according to another friend. Yeah. That's right. Alright, so uh, we are where? Where are we? So you can just keep, because you're going up to that top, right? Yeah. So just drop me a quarter. So Easier for me to go to that area. We're going up here. Yeah, this is on Dravo. Uh, actually, Taylor. Well, we're in the back of Taylor right now. The back of Taylor and the M&M. Yay. I'll send you guys a link to this on my YouTube channel. Um, any other questions for me, Sean? Uh, I'm thinking. Um, how have um the uh the like the logistics of voter van gone? Like, has anyone reported any problems at all? Not really. Um, well, because That's like the really only well. people who are like know about the logistics of it are like me and Alex and the other driver, um, Chris. But Thank other you. than that, bye, Selena. Bye, bye. No one really has known about it. I think Voter Van could have been much more publicized than it was. Oh, yeah? And we could have gotten a lot more people. And if this campus wasn't so conservative and think that I'm slightly sketchy. <laughs> have, uh, You're not sketchy. Well, yeah, I'm sketchy because I'm not, like, a pale face and I don't have, like, blonde hair. <laughs> I'm not in a fraternity. So. I don't have blonde hair. I'm not in a fraternity. Do I look sketchy? Um, I don't think you look sketchy, but they think you look sketchy. Who's who's they? The pale faces out there. I mean, what what's a pale face? White people. Like white. They, they white people on this campus. They are slightly classes and egregious, and they think that if you are not like them, you're a little weird, or if you don't I've act never like heard them, that. or mean, if you don't act like them, I should say. Okay. That's uh, I haven't heard that. Wow, this is going to make for one interesting YouTube video. Uh, I'm trying to think of more and more questions, more questions. Oh, I remember. Uh, remember we had that uh, entertainment thing. We had to uh, take care of that. Uh, yeah, actually, entertainment. Uh, were you uh, asking people? Uh, I was asking everybody and their All your mother, passengers. Like, um, if they knew a band or somebody who was in a band. And, like, everyone was telling me no. And um, there is this kind of cult following of a band called um, Summit, but they have kind of broken up, um, not simply because they don't get along, but because they're pretty much in different parts of the world right now. Um, and there's another band um, that I found was called, what are they called? Uh, Jaywalk. Jaywalk. And they actually won the Battle of the Bands uh, a couple of years ago or something here at Lehigh. Oh wow, that's awesome. And. Um, I talked to the guy who's in there, and they said they would love to do it, but most of them have graduated from the eye. Oh. And they also need, like, a really, really big setup. Oh, so yeah. that they need, like, um, sound systems and, like, for their amps and stuff and guitars. So, like, that really wasn't, like, an option. But then one of the guys who's in Jaywalk, he told me about this other band called um, the All-American Good Old Boy Brass Band or something like that. Okay. And, um, 
they're like a kind of like New Orleans these guys. Right, style. okay. And they dress up like uh, American figures. Like one guy was dressed up like Captain America, one drop guy dresses up like um, FDR, one guy dresses up like uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know, some other like famous American political figures. Okay. And they, uh, they sent, I couldn't get all of them. It was like really hard time just actually finding a person I needed to get in touch to to get that band here, and I really didn't like pull it off until like literally an hour before they showed up. Oh, so, wow. it was amazing. They showed up. There was like three of them um, that showed up there. But were those the guys with the, the two guitars and the violinist? No, they had. There was a guy with a trombone. I believe. Oh uh, yes, I remember those guys. Yeah, they were there when I was running. Right, right, right. And so anyway, um, they came and there was already this mariachi band that was out of there, like a violin and like a guitar guy. Right. Yeah. So I think that's the one you were referring to earlier. Yeah. But um, yeah, they came and they were playing one of the things were marching in and like they kind of drowned out the mariachi band at first because uh, they're just loud and like uh, not obnoxious. So like, but when the mariachi band kind of figured out what they were playing, they kind of joined in and it like made for excellent time. Oh, very And nice. at the same time, there was pizza arriving. So oh, very nice. <laughs> I was very happy to see that those things yes. came together. And the people from the campaign were like, oh my god, who are these guys? And like, the guy who I work under, um, Ed, he like said, oh, these are the guys Sean brought over. And now all the campaign people were like, oh my god, this is so amazing. <laughs> so my, uh, my, uh, my letter of um, recommendation will be a little slightly extra padded, I believe. Oh, so which will always, always good, good. Always good. Um, other than uh, musical uh, entertainment, what other suggestions did you get? Like from uh, from people from my uh, passengers, that kind of thing. Well, I really didn't get any suggestions from passengers. Like, um, just my few interactions with the passengers was mostly about getting what they need to do for voting. Um, okay. Because there was a particular problem in the beginning about um, whether they need to um, have their voter registration cards, and people had their voter registration cards who couldn't be found in the book or being turned away and had to be turned. Um, provisional ballots, which are pretty much bullshit um, ballots that don't really get counted. And right. They're automatically contested ballots, which is not something that we want to create. Exactly. Um, so, but that got kind of settled um, pretty fast um, once the Obama lawyers got on it. Oh, okay. So, Very cool. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're running down uh, to the to the limit of, uh, of this particular clip, or as low as I want to go. So, do you have any any final words about the election, about your interning for the Obama campaign, or just the phenomenon known as the voter van? Um, the voter van was a very good idea. It needed more drivers, I can tell you that. It needed more publicity. Okay. Um, the campaign itself, working as an intern, was very, very hard. Like, uh, particularly um, if you're a student and you want to be an intern, um, Try to make sure you're not working more than about 15 hours a week. Um, I was working 20 hours a week, and it nearly killed me. Oh, so do not work more than uh, 15 hours a week, because campaigns will try to use you as their bitch, as what the answers are. So, all right. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the interview.